In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a pivot table in Google Sheets and make it so that it automatically updates for you. So there's no macros, no script involved. It's actually a pretty simple way to do it. So I'm going to start with creating a pivot table in Google Sheets, and it's pretty straightforward the same way um, you're really going to do it in Excel. You just select anywhere on your, on your data set, go to Insert, Pivot Table, and I'm going to select the default settings, select New Sheet, hit Create, and I'm just going to call this Pivot Table. I'm going to pull in my total sales under the values, put my sales persons under Row, and the store under the columns. So now I've got a nice pivot table. Looks looks just fine. Now let's say I add add a sales or add a, add a row of data. Let's say I'll add December 31st, 2021. Let's say store A. And let's say rep Z. I don't have a rep Z. Product product A. And you know, one item costing ten thousand dollars. Okay. And now it's a large number, so it'll stick out once it updates. When I go back to the pivot table tab, though, nothing's changed. Unlike in Excel, where you know you can right click, refresh, I don't have that option in here. I can't even go under data to select an option to refresh. It's effectively doing doing it automatically because it's it's online. Um, but the one problem though is you'll notice on the on this range, I've got my data data tab going to row 1000. And here I've added this line on uh, row 1001. So the pivot table is not picking that up. So, you know, I could go in and manually change this to 1001, but that would be really tedious. And it, it definitely wouldn't be automatic. Now, an easier way to do this is just to adjust this range so it goes from A all the way through G. And if I hit enter, now I've got Rev Z on here. Now, because this is going all the way to the bottom, it's also picking up empty, empty values. So an easy solution here is just to hide that first row, since it's always going to have blanks, because unless you've got every single row filled in, it's, you know, it's not, uh, not going to be filled in. So it's always going to be a blank. So now let's test this out. And let's say I'm going to do the same thing. This time I'm going to add rep X. Same thing, and let's just add another zero just to make it even larger. Now I'm going to switch back over to the pivot table, and if everything works, I should see rep X, and I should see a huge amount of $100,000. And boom, there it is, $100,000 for store A. So don't even need to do a refresh. You don't have to do any sort of Mac or anything else. And that first first row here is still hidden because again, it's gonna have blanks because if I've selected um, columns A through G in their entirety, it's obviously gonna pick up all these blank values, which is fine because like I said, I could just hide it in here. And this way, this avoids me having to manually change the range each time. So this is, I, I think, uh, a pretty good solution as far as being able to update this because like I said there's not another way that you could realistically do this without potentially going into app script and and, and forcing it to uh, recalibrate the the pivot table by selecting the entire columns then you can do this the only caveat is you just want to hide that first first row or that first section that's going to have empty values. So that's how you can quickly create pivot tables in Google Sheets and have them so they automatically update.